Good morning, prayerful ones. Did you know that a recent study showed that 90% of people believe in the power of prayer? People typically pray over their food, ask God for wisdom, strength, or health, and that is all good, but there's a part we're missing out on. We can't reach our highest potential just in our own ability. It's going to take God's hand of favor where he can connect us to the right people and turn around what was meant for our harm. If this is going to happen, we have to understand this principle of praying bold prayers. Too many times we pray, quote, get by prayers, unquote. Things like, God, help me to get by this year. God, help me to endure this sickness. God, keep my children out of trouble. And there's nothing really wrong with that, but it's going to limit what God can do. God is moved by our faith. If you ask small, you're going to receive small. The scripture declares in Matthew 9, 29, according to your faith, be it done unto you. For example, people might pray like this, God, help me to pay my bills. A bold prayer is, Father, I thank you that you not only provide for all of my needs according to your riches and glory, Philippians 4.19, but that you make every favor and earthly blessing come to us in abundance so that we may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support, and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation, 2 Corinthians 9.8. This way, we can be a blessing to other people as well. A traditional prayer is, God, keep my children out of trouble. A bold prayer is, Father, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24.15. Thank you that all of my children are taught of the Lord, and great is the peace of my children. Isaiah 54, 13. I thank you that they will fulfill their calling and become leaders. What about this traditional prayer? God, help me to endure this sickness. A bold prayer is, Father, I want to thank you that you said, by Jesus' stripes, I was healed. 1 Peter 2.24, and that no sickness or disease shall come nigh my dwelling. Psalm 91.10. If you're going to see the surpassing favor of God in your life, you're going to have to do what the scripture talks about. You've got to go beyond praying little prayers and ask God to do something big in your life. Declare what God's word says about you. Here's a good gauge for you. If you can accomplish your dreams all on your own, then your dreams are too small. If you do not have to stretch your faith, then you don't really need God's help. There should be something you're praying about, something you're believing for that goes beyond your natural ability. You can't make it happen on your own. In order for it to come to pass, it's going to take the Most High God breathing in your direction making a way where it seems like there is no way. That is the kind of prayers we should be praying, bold prayers. So I exhort you to not just pray, get by prayers. No, pray bold prayers. However wide you open your mouth is how wide God will fill it. Psalm 8110 says, open your mouth wide and I will fill it with good things. Just remember, we serve a supernatural God. If you open your mouth wider, God will fill it. He wants to give you the secret petitions of your heart. Psalm 37, 4. When you ask boldly, you're not being selfish or greedy. You're releasing your faith. You're saying, Father, I believe you are the all-powerful creator of the universe and nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah 32, verses 17 and 27. It's the Father's good pleasure to give you all he has. Luke 12, 21. All you have to do is ask. And I've listed a bunch of scriptures. James 4, 2 declares, you have not because you ask not. 
I encourage you today to start praying bold prayers. Well, God bless you guys. If you were encouraged and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. I love you in Christ Jesus and am praying for you today.